Well, hello everyone and welcome to this week's Pathways Wrap-Up, proudly brought to you by Ingenia Holiday Parks. It was a week where all three of our lower grades played and it was a great win for our New South Wales Cup side. Narrow losses for our Jersey Flag Cup and our women's teams this week. Going back to the New South Wales Cup, they had a resounding 34 points to four win over the Western Suburbs Magpies. It was a great win for Dane Dorohy and his side on the weekend. The Jersey Flag side, they went down 22 points to 12 to the West Tigers on the weekend. A tussle there, a few changes to the team at the last minute, and they played very well for the preparation that they had on game day. The women's team, their first game for the season was the West Tigers. It was the curtain raiser to the NRL fixture at Combank Stadium. They went down 16 points to 10 in their first competition game of the year. It was a, a jittery build-up to that game. Not a lot of football played in the preseason due to the wet weather and it was a great effort from Shane Sultana's team out there at Combank Stadium. Now this week's feature piece is on our Jersey Flag Cup halfback, Joseph Naura, a South Sydney junior, a proud Rabbitoh. Let's have a chat with Joey. I come from a massive family. And obviously all four of my grandparents um, come from Lebanon and they came here to Australia for, and seek for a better life. For a big part of us growing up as a family it was footy. We always just play footy like in our backyard and stuff, and I remember like, as a little kid, all it was, like every family event, footy, 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 foot in our hand, and just, yeah, I think that sort of bring us close together as a family. Or well, obviously seeing Adam growing up, he went to the same school as me, so obviously always looked up to Adam, and then obviously seeing as he progressed through the grades, and then he made his debut for Lebanon the World Cup in 2017, I think I was there like every game, watching him always, because me and him play similar positions, similar roles, so like I've always aspired to be like him. And obviously when he made the move to South, I followed him like shortly a year after and that was probably the best move I've done. And yeah, just seeing him play first grade week in, week out and just seeing like how much he's developed and grown as a player, like I aspired a bit like that both on and off the field. But even in the off season, I'd go down to the park with him one or two times a week and be in the gym with him like three, four times a week, just learning as much as I can. Because it's always good, he's played over like 60, 70 first grade games, so it's always good to lean on someone like him. See a lot of those boys now progressing already up to the grades and like even the first grade like I played with Davies since Harold Matz like that kid's just a freak like he's and seeing kids like that just really pushes me and like I strive to like try to follow in the same path as well knowing that only a couple of years ago like he was my starting prop even just last year and then seeing him make that transition straight from there to first grade something really special. I got injured unfortunately halfway through the season my hip or my rectus femoris and that was honest obviously came at a very bad time at first I was told 100% I needed surgery and then they uh, kind of found ways about it when they spoke to the specialist that I didn't need it. So at first I was told it was going to be like an eight week injury. Then I went moved forward 10 weeks, still wasn't on the park playing and then it got to about 11 weeks where I played my first school rugby union game and I got through that. And then I played, um, a couple weeks later I played in a CIS tournament and then I played like that whole game I was fine. Then the last minute of the game I went to do another kick on the same leg and then I um, re-injured the same injury. So yeah, then I'll set back another like six, seven, eight, nine weeks of just no running, no kicking, no nothing. And just uh, very, had to follow a very strict gym and rehab program just to build up strength back in it now. And yeah, now it's feeling fine. Yeah, well having Sato is massive. Like he's played over 300 NRL games. Like you don't get that. I don't think not one SG ball, other SG ball like team would have that experience with them as their coach. And just like every session is asking just even the little things you can just to improve your game. Like I remember last year, he gave me a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching. I think that's really developed my game and helped me shape to a better player. And like without him and without both for Luna and all that, like I just don't see my game where it would be at the moment. And some personal goals for me would be just play some very, very consistent footy because I think a lot of good things will come on the back of that. Great to hear from Joseph there and a big future ahead for him, hopefully all in the red and green as we move forward with his career and his development. Now three games again in the pathways this weekend, the curtain raiser to the NRL fixture on Friday night at 5.35pm at Central Coast Stadium will be our women's team taking on the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks and then on Saturday at Redfern Oval, the Ironmark High Performance Centre at Redfern Oval, we will have our Jersey flag team 
kicking off against the Manly Warringah Seagulls at 1.15pm. And at 3pm, it will be the mighty Rabbitohs in the New South Wales Cup taking on the Blacktown Workers Seagulls. A big weekend of footy, two home games, two venues over two days. Make sure you're there at both Central Coast Stadium and the Ironmark High Performance Centre to watch our Pathways teams this weekend. That's the Pathways wrap for this week, brought to you by Ingenia Holiday Parks.